apologize for the uh, those weeks of not knowing what's going to happen in terms of funding <laughs> because uh, we had trouble getting the a bill that we had to pass that had the money in it from some of our very conservative members who were holding it up. But we got it done finally. All right, you got a little political there. The uh, president bemoaning the aid package that, uh, you know, y Ukraine is finally getting right now, but blaming Republicans for the fact that it's delayed. That technically might be right to him, the back and forth on this. But bottom line, you are, you know, in a foreign country. And I don't know if that's really cutting it. Uh, it certainly doesn't with my next guest, Congressman Jody Arrington, the Texas Congressman, House Budget Committee Chair, House Ways and Means Committee member, very important figure there. Congressman, I, no matter where people come down on this, I, I didn't think that was really appropriate of a sitting U.S. president talking to a leader of another country about our own political problems here that might or might not delay aid. It just didn't seem the time or place to do it. But your thoughts? Well, I agree. I think it's a continual uh posture of weakness to our adversaries and allies alike who are counting on us. And um, I, it just was unnecessary. And then I guess my other comment, which will no doubt sound political, but I think it's, it's substantive and a real concern for a lot of people. I think he should apologize to, to the American people for not putting the resources and the attention to the invasion at our southern border and not just an invasion of Ukraine by our common enemy, Russia, and maybe even an apology to our children uh, because we didn't pay for it and they will inherit the whirlwind of a 35 trillion and counting national debt. And then here's the other one. If we're going to do these things, and I think there's a security interest for our country to support Ukraine in the right way, we need an end game. We can't have endless drawdowns and, and a lot of discretion to this president uh, when we don't even know uh, the desired goals where we can find a peace agreement there. And uh, that's, I think, critical to being responsible as as uh, stewards of America's interest and their treasure. I, I see what you're saying, and there's obviously a lot to talk about with the border, to your point, sir. But the fact of the matter is, maybe the president sort of just left, you know, we continue to give you more aid, more aid is coming. We've given you more than any other NATO country. In fact, all the other countries combined and leave it at that. But I, I, you're right. We, we dipped into areas that maybe weren't wise. Having said that, though, the president did make clear not only a speech today, but yesterday uh, at Normandy itself uh, that Ukraine is, is, is sort of dealing with what, what those soldiers were dealing with um, all those years ago. And that Russia is, in fact, that new totalitarian state that wants to revisit what happened 80 years ago. What did you make of that? Well, I think it's uh, true we should uh, unite as a, an alliance of freedom-loving countries against tyranny. I think those alliances are important. The world is is getting more dangerous, and 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 we can't just go it alone. We need Europe to take ownership uh, as we provide the targeted support for Ukraine. Uh, so, yeah, I think there were some positive things to his speech, and he referenced, I think he quoted Ronald Reagan, and and so that's all good, but. I think there's a lot of discretionary monies in the Ukraine package. And for the reasons I mentioned earlier, and for the reason I'm going to tell you uh, here uh, in a minute, I didn't support it because I think there's also questions about the competency post Afghanistan on the decisions that are being made when you give discretion to this particular commander in chief, number one, and number two, I feel like there's a hyper partisanship in the decision model over at the White House, whether it's this recent executive order on the border um, or student loan forgiveness that's going to cost another trillion dollars to taxpayers in the future, probably our children. Um, and, 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 and even saying, here, Ukraine, here's some more weapons and munitions to be aggressive in defense of your sovereign uh, country, but then withholding from Israel munitions and weapons and, and putting prohibitions on them defending themselves mm -hmm. 
against the attacks of terrorists. So I, okay. I have concerns about competency and and the hyper political nature of decision making over there. Now, well, you've been very clear about that, Congressman. Uh, agree or disagree? You speak your mind. Uh, that's a Texas thing, I understand. Uh, very good seeing you, sir. Thank <laughs> you very much.